I don't care what he says. If I'm lazy and I don't feed my kids, I don't give a fuck. I don't have to cook for you. Who the fuck are you? Like, I'll say it. I don't, I don't, ever since, I know how to cook. That's one thing. I do know how to cook, but that I don't like to anymore because I already got used to not cooking. That's a different story. I do wish him the best. I do wish him the best. And it's sad because I do miss, I did, like, I do miss him. I'm not going to sit here and lie and say I don't because I did grow attached to him. Like, I, you know, I did, but then it, I'm not going to go back. Like, I'm not going to be stupid again and be with a guy like that. Like, that's why I told him. And I have all the text messages. And I'm going to post all the text messages so you guys can see. I'll post it with his fucking number. So this way he can't sit there and say, oh, that wasn't me. Because I'm going to post everything. I'm going to screen record everything that he was texting me this morning. He threw all my shit outside his apartment. I was picking it up and he was begging me, literally on his fucking knees, begging me, crying to me. Please don't leave me. I don't have nothing. Please, you know, my, not even my own family loves me. And it's true. His own family told me, like, girl, run. Do not be with him. He's crazy. He's he's done this shit before. I didn't even know that he had charges in Puerto Rico from doing this shit to the same girl. Bitch, I could have made a YouTube video off of it and got, like, money off that shit. But let's go live. Let's go live. <laughs> you know what's crazy too is on Halloween day, I, um, oh no, it was right before Halloween, I had a black eye. I couldn't even do shit because he fucking punched me in the eye. I, all because he got mad that I was following, he thought I was following a guy, which the guy is actually my sister's cousins. I grew up with him. I knew him. He's family. And he was super disgusting. He would block guys that would write me. Like, he would be all up on my phone. And he would, like, get my phone and block people that I didn't even know who he was blocking. Like, all this shit. Like, I didn't even know he was on my phone. And, man. I'm going to post a screenshot, too, of the girl that messaged me that helped me. She actually found me on Instagram. And she was like, hey, girl, I hope you're okay. She's like, I'm the girl that helped you. Um... Because I didn't want to expose him. Like, I didn't want to expose him. That's why I said I was just going to leave him alone. I wasn't going to say shit about him. But for him to go on live because you're hurt because I told you I didn't want to be with you, you're blowing me up from a different fucking phone. And I hung up on him because I didn't know it was him. I answered it and it was him. And I I um, hung up. He was scared because I told him, if you don't let me leave... I'm going to press charges on you for what you did. And I have evidence. And that was not the only time, you guys. I swear on my life. And this is what my baby daddy was talking about when he said, oh, I have stuff on her too. I didn't want to say that. But the night, the first night that Alex, he literally, it was a kidnapping. Because he literally took me in the car, yanked me by my fucking hair in the car. Exactly. You're saying, yeah, because you saw it. My sister was right there. He literally yanked me by my fucking hair in the car. He took off with the car. He took my phone from me. He even took my sister's phone. He um he took me to like a space and he was telling me, take your fucking clothes off and get on your knees. He was recording me, you guys. I swear to God on my life, I was scared for my life, like scared for my life. And I even I um called my baby daddy after and I was like, hey, like this is what's happening. Um, I was just telling him, like, if something happens to me, like you, this is what happened. I did yell. Yep, I did talk shit to him. Yep, I did. I don't care. I'm not gonna let no man run me. That's for damn sure. Especially a man that, you know, after there's another thing, and I still was dumb enough to stay with him when this man literally, literally. Oh, let me show you the scar I got in Puerto Rico the other way because I lay on my left side. So I laid this way and he was on the other side. He's like, you're going to fucking turn your back towards me? And he threw his fucking sandal at me hard as fuck in my back. Hard. And it literally burned my back. Like, I'm going to show you the scar because I still have it. And that shit happened in Puerto Rico. And I remember I was going to buy a flight back home and he took my phone. He's like, you're not going nowhere. This and that. And then after that, like, I continued, like to be like okay like eileen use your brain and think and be good with this man because you don't know what he's capable of so like just don't do that
Let me see. Right there. Do I see it or no? Yeah. Oh my god, this man. That's why he left to Puerto Rico. And then, the, oh yeah, about the job. So the job part, he had a really good job, right? Really super good job. They were paying him really good. When I met him, he had his car, he had his own place. He had everything like that. And when I got with him, like we were already together, it it was a burn. It was a burn. It hurt so fucking bad. Like I'm talking about, like I literally wanted to scream. And then he threw one at my head. I had a big ass knot everything like it was it was crazy you guys and yeah i know i'm stupid for staying with him yeah i know i'm stupid for doing all of that so uh -huh, tell me why I eat. no so i have a birthmark on my back as well but i also have a scar and it was a burn and i think i have a picture of it i think i took a picture of it um so after that happened this this man would choke me i literally have a doctor's appointment because my tonsils hurt bad like bad he would grab me by my neck choke me pick me up disgusting i'm talking about i didn't even go through that type of abuse with my baby dad like he i wouldn't like I, it was not even close to being that bad and for us to be together for almost like only two and a half months like that's crazy and that's why i was like you know what no like that was god that told that man to get on a flight to puerto rico because now like i know like i blocked him all this sh shit just do youtube you're always at home so i was like okay like let me I, I was just like okay whatever like i i think i was just so like i don't know like i don't even know stupid honestly blind stupid for staying with this man like and not leaving so i um i don't even want to say that other thing but i'm gonna say it because i know i'm gonna look super bad but i'm gonna say it Okay, so I let I was like, okay, fine, whatever. So I was the one paying for everything. I was the one that had everything. He didn't have a car anymore. His apartment, obviously, I was paying the rent. He didn't work anymore. He quit working like a month after we started being together. I would never go back with my ex either because he was the same way. I would never. And that's what I'm saying. Like, this is why this man... I'm going to post all the text messages after this. This is why he made that lie. Because he was hurt and he was mad that I told him, like, I'm not going to go back with you. Like, I don't care how much you cried to me. Because every time we would fight, he would cry. He would get on his knees. He would cry. He would beg me. Literally bawl, like, his eyes out. And all this shit. Tell me he was going to change and all this stuff. Like, please don't leave me. I don't know how I'm going to breathe without you. I don't know how I'm going to live without you. Like, all this stuff. And... I just, I was stupid, honestly. And then right now, after, literally like five minutes after I hung up on him, he goes live. Because I got the notification that he went live. And he, um, he and then he got off alive and he blocked me because I was like, think about what you're going to say, Alex. I even texted him. I was like, think about what you're going to say because if you talk shit and you say stuff, I'm going to defend myself and I'm going to say everything about you. I was like, I really hope he gets help and i really hope he finds love because that man needs it that should have been like a huge eye-opener for me like why doesn't even your own family love you like your own family don't even like you your own family was telling me don't stay over here take him back with you i did call him when he was like because i was telling him like watch what you say because if you say shit i'm gonna expose you and he didn't he didn't care he read my message That's what I told him. I told him that because he was like, please, like, I want to be with you. And I told him, I was like, Alex, right now is not the time. I was like, you know what? Like, I need to get my shit together. I need to focus on myself right now. I need to love myself, focus on me and my kids and be happy for real. Like, be by myself for a while. And um, and then I was like, who knows? Maybe on later on in the future, like, if you get help and you literally change your ways and you prove to me that you're changed and I still feel something for you, like, maybe we could try it out. But not right now. And he has a lot of mental health problems because he, his mom and them 
sent him away to like a training camp that's why he was in boxing because he would tell me like he's he suffered a lot he told me like they would they sent him away because they couldn't with him he was super bad like he wouldn't listen um he was always getting in trouble um so they sent him to a camp where he was there for four years it was like kind of like a jail but it wasn't a jail it was a boxing camp he had to fight every day um like there was no choice like he had to fight every day um that's what it was and that's how he came, got into boxing and stuff um when i seen that he was like that i was like oh no like so i did get pregnant and i actually took the pregnancy test it's crazy because i actually filmed the video and everything like i filmed the video i made him a baby basket my sisters were actually there the day that i got that i found out and they were like oh, we all cried because i was like oh my god like what the hell is going on so um after that i oh my god this is so ugly well i mean you guys know it's i was pregnant so i'm just not gonna go into detail about that but the way alex was when so when he when he knew and he was excited he was happy he was like okay like i want a baby with you and that's what i'm saying like after that that's when everything happened like when he threw me in the car to the thing that was like three days after we found out and then he um he punched me in the stomach he kicked me in the stomach and all this shit like i actually still have a bruise from that well, if you cannot with me, you stupid bitch, then why do you watch my shit, you fucking dumb asshole? Like, fuck. Control before I met Alex, and, um, because I wasn't being with nobody, like, I wasn't planning to be in a relationship, I wasn't planning to be with anybody, and I took out my birth control, um, I took out my birth control, and then I ended up getting pregnant. super angry so remember how i told you guys I told you guys um like i wouldn't even be looking at guys guys i would go outside to throw the, tr the trash out because he wouldn't go one time i threw the trash out at his place and it was right there in front like you could literally see the trash from his apartment and i was in biker shorts you know the snatched biker shorts that i had on my website so those snatched biker shorts i was wearing them they're not even short he was pissed he literally grabbed me by my hair he and choked me and he was like what the fuck like no más quieres andar por ahí señando el culo this and that blah, blah blah i was like what like there was nobody outside it's fucking seven o'clock in the morning like who's outside like who am i showing my ass to okay so i'm gonna get off this live and i'm gonna post we're saying that i'm the one that said yes i did confirm in the live when we we're going to puerto rico because alex fucking stupid ass his big ass mouth said it he was like oh we're having a baby and then people heard him in the background and then i was like okay like whatever like you already said it and um that's why everybody was like oh she lied about that and i didn't want to say what happened like i was just gonna let it die out all that stuff but it's like alex be a man go live with me go live with me say your shit and i'll say my shit i have proof i'll go to walmart i'll get the surveillance footage if i have to do a fucking police report i'll do one i didn't want to do that because i didn't want to ruin this man's life even more he already has trust me this man his life is sad exactly somebody understood what i was trying to say I was going to leave the drama off social media. I even told him, like, this is why I can't be with you either because you run to social media for everything. I was like, stop. Like, why do you put this shit out there? Like, at the end of the day, you're the only one that's going to look bad. Like, you, I have a girl that didn't even know me and that she had to help me. It happened with my baby dad when he fucking jumped in his car and fucked him up because in front of everything, in front of everybody. He has anger issues, you guys. He does. That's why what happened with my baby dad when he fucking jumped in his car and fucked him up because alex thought my baby dad was following us we were at walmart my baby dad walked in i mean there's only one fucking walmart in damn santan valley he was at walmart he walked in he was like oh there you are and he told me something about jordan he was like oh i was trying to call you but i had out Al that's why another thing why we didn't work because of my baby dad alex was super jealous he was just too much so that day at walmart he got pissed and he was like go tell him why is he following us he has your location i was like how does he have my location like
there's no way he has my location. Like, I would have to share my location with him or I would have to, my, I turned my location off so this way Alex wouldn't trip. And then, um, so I turned off my location and then Alex, I was talking to, I was talking to him about the kids, my baby dad, my baby dad wasn't doing nothing that day. So before Alex was already, Alex already didn't like him because my baby dad did show up at my house and he was talking shit. Like he was, he was talking shit. He was like, tell that motherfucker to come outside. I'm gonna beat the fuck out of him. And this is when he found out that me and Alex were first got together. And Alex was already didn't like him because of that. And I didn't let Alex out the house. I was like, no, you're not going to disrespect my man. Like, I mean, you're not going to disrespect my baby dad. And I told my baby dad, you're not going to disrespect my man. I was like, you guys are not going to fight in front of my house. Like, my kids are here, this and that. So my baby dad left. But then when we were at Walmart, we were by ourselves. And then um, he... Uh, he um, got off the car. I was talking to my kids' dad. And Alex came up behind me, and I just seen my baby dad's face like that. Like, he looked like, oh, shit. Like, where the fuck did you come from? So I looked back, and Alex was right there. And then Alex, out of nowhere, he fucking pushed me, and he opened the door, and he just took off on him. Like, I'm talking about took off on him. And when I... I'm not gonna lie. Alex is a fucking animal. When He will fuck some shit up. Like, he... That guy is something else. But... I was like, what the hell? I was screaming. I was like, Alex, like, stop. What the fuck is your problem? We got in a fight that day. Me and him argued that day because I was like, what the fuck is your problem? Like, you're starting shit. At the end of the day, that's my kid's dad. You need to respect that. Like, he's always going to be. I'm never going to tell my baby dad you cannot see your kids or be in your kid's life because of a man. Never. And I made that real clear to Alex from the beginning. And that's why we would fight a lot because he's like, I can't with your ex anymore. You're always communicating with him. I was like, well, we don't communicate about anything else other than the kids and um ever since he got with that girl like you guys know like i told you guys my baby dad changed he stopped contacting the kids he stopped seeing the kids like all that stuff but in the beginning it was a big problem because he would still see the kids all the time he would call the kids all the time and alex would get mad like why is he calling your phone i wouldn't even answer i would pass the, the phone to the kids like i told him like we're not together like he's not like that like my baby dad wasn't trying to ruin our relationship like he was never like oh like i, I want to be with you like no like he would just call for the kids and that's it like he understood that i was with alex and um i couldn't it was like i was held hostage in a house like i would get choked out by my neck i would get punched i would get thrown that man is strong as fuck like I'm telling you, I've never had a man. We're gonna leave. Okay, we're gonna leave right now. I know, I'm all over the place because I'm trying to say everything. But I'm gonna just leave it at this. Like, you're not their dad. Like, first off, my nine o'clock is fine for my kids. Um, It was just a lot. Oh, Ari's a crybaby. Like, oh, wow. Like, if she's a fucking crybaby, she's not your kid. Like, mind your business. But, um,. No, the kids did not see, that's the good thing, is that the kids did not see all of that. So they didn't see anything, they would never hear us argue, like, none of that shit. So that's the good thing, but, um, yeah, like, I, it's so sad, like, how it came to this point, because I even told him, like, Alex, like, you know, I really do care for you, I really hope you find love, because you need it, you never had it, not even from your own family. Your family doesn't like you, they don't care for you right now, he's sleeping at a a guy's house that he invited them he was like oh can i invite them i was like yeah like i don't care like whatever like invite them it was a private resort like we, you had a private beach you had your pool and everything so he invited them his sisters the whole time we were taking pictures and like i was hugging him they were talking shit like they were saying stuff like throwing stupid little jabs like oh my god stop like this and that blah blah and i was irritated so like after that me i'm not a fake ass bitch so i didn't talk to them i was like nope like i'm not even introducing myself to you i'm not gonna fucking be right there like nope and he was like he got mad because of that because he was like why are you being like that with them okay hold on tell natalie to help you he's like um why are you being like that with them i was like because i'm not fake like i don't i don't i don't like them anymore like they're talking shit for no reason like like bitch go get a man like, what the hell are you right here just watching this for? Like, talking shit. Like, I don't even know you. And then, um.
he yanked me by my hair who and on FaceTime in front of his sister. Okay, I'm gonna leave. I'm gonna go back home. I was at my mom's. Um, so he yanked me by my hair in front of his sister, and his sister was like, Calm down, like, what are you doing? Like, don't do that. You're gonna end up going to jail again for another girl. Like, don't do that. And he was literally psycho. Like, I'm talking about it was crazy. But I'm gonna stop. <laughs> <laughs> to Arya, to Arya is so she is a lot she's a handful you guys she's super bossy she's super like if she don't get shit her way like she's gonna throw fit she's gonna cry and that is because her dad made her like that because her dad gives her everything her dad babied her her dad like i'm more strict with her um just continue to live my life and be happy and then I'm going to post the, um, I'll post the screenshots too.